Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alex once again, bringing some more fun free drumming ideas. And today's fun free drumming idea is basically another sort of four bars of fun. Bars one and three, quite simple, just little grooves that you can sort of sink your teeth into. Bars two and four is where we start chucking in some nice little set up rhythms. Bar two is pretty simple. Bar four is actually more simple than it looks and sounds, which is always a good thing. Uh, you probably saw it in the intro, so if you're up for giving that a crack, stick around, let's crack on, and here we go. Okay, so bar one, nice and simple. Um, we're going to play it with kind of a swing. The sticking goes bass, tick, bass, snare, tick, bass, bass, snare, tick. Not too bad. I'll play it up to speed. And we've got one offbeat. And then when I say offbeat, I mean it's going to fall in between the hi-hats. Okay, so in between you playing these, you're going to get a little kick drum falling in. That's going to happen on the uh of beat one. So we've got... One and a two. In fact, number two's got a snare drum, so let's try that again. So we've got one and a two and beats three and four are pretty really simple. Three and four and. So we've got bass drums on beat three, the and of beat three, and the snare drum on beat four, and then just a lonely tick on the uh, and of beat four. So let's try that. Three and four and. Okay, so let's get through this quick because this is not the most important part. One and a two and three and four and. Easy. When you got it down, just speed it up. Done. Right, so for bar two, we've got four groups of six. Beats one and two are slightly different, and then beats three and four, it's just like a repeat of beats one and two. Now, what you're doing is you've got single strokes. You're always playing right, left, right, left. If you're left-handed, just swap that over. But you're going to have the bass drum falling on the beat one of the first group of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to bring your right hand down and hit the snare drum on beat one of the next group of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you just repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 So what we do now is we play bars one and two back to back and we can loop those around a couple of times. It sounds pretty cool. So we've got one and a two and three and four and one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 bass. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And like I did there, you can just start adding a few extra bass drums or whatever you want into the mix when you're comfortable with it. Okay, bar three. So bar three is pretty much going to be the same as bar one. What I thought we could do, instead of going bass, tick, bass, snare, then bass, bass, snare, we could be slightly more adventurous and put a bass drum on the uh of beat two as well. So we're going to get this bass, tick, bass, snare, tick, bass, bass. And that leads us up to beat three. So if I count it, we've got one and a two and a. Uh. And then we've got the beats, bass drum beats on beat three and the end of beat three. So you can get this coming out of beat two and into beat three. So here we go. One and a two and a three and four and one and a two and a three and four and. If you struggle with that bass drum part, don't worry about it. Just copy what you did for bar, bar one or make up your own beat entirely and just use that. So bar three. Got bass, tick, bass, snare, tick, bass, bass, snare, tick, bass, bass, snare, tick, bass, 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 snare. And that's it. Bar three. Bar four. Bar five. Bar six. Bar seven. Bar eight. Bar nine. Bar ten. Bar eleven. Bar twelve. Bar thirteen. Bar fourteen. Bar fifteen. Bar sixteen. Bar seventeen. Bar eighteen. Bar nineteen. Bar twenty. Bar twenty-one. Bar twenty-two. Bar twenty-three. Bar twenty-four. Bar twenty-five. Bar twenty-six. Bar twenty-seven. Bar twenty-eight. Bar twenty-nine. Bar twenty-ten. Bar twenty-eleven. Bar twenty-twelve. Bar twenty-thirteen. Bar twenty-fourteen. Bar twenty-fifteen. Bar twenty-sixteen. Bar twenty-seventeen. Bar twenty-eighteen. Bar twenty-nineteen. Bar twenty-twenty. Bar twenty-twenty-one. Bar twenty-twenty-two. Bar twenty-twenty-three. Bar twenty-twenty-four. Bar twenty-twenty-five. Bar twenty-twenty-six. Bar twenty-twenty-seven. Bar twenty-twenty-eight. Bar twenty-twenty-nine. Bar twenty-twenty-ten. Bar twenty-twenty-eleven. Bar twenty-twenty-twelve. Bar twenty-twenty-thirteen. Bar twenty-twenty-fourteen. Bar twenty-twenty-fifteen. Bar twenty-twenty-sixteen. Bar twenty-twenty-seventeen. Bar twenty-twenty-eighteen. Bar twenty-twenty-nineteen. Bar twenty-twenty-twenty. 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 And if I just break it down into two, into the two groups of six, um, so beats one and two again are going to be the same as beats in three and four. So we've got for beat one, we've got six notes, one. So you're going to start off crossed over. So instead of having your left hand round by the snare drum, just chuck it over to the floor, Tom. And we've got one, two, three, and then four, five, six. So we've got bass drum and a hi hat. That's going to give us our downbeat. One, two with the left, three with the right, four with the left on the hi hat. Five on the floor tom for the right, and then left on the hi hat for number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's probably the hardest part of it, just getting that crossy over thing, then sort of, you know, opening up and then keeping your hands on the floor on the hi hat. Beats two and four of this is going to be snare drum with the right to give us our back beat. Snare, two, three, 
four, five, six. So that's really simple. So in bar two, we were going, just chuck your right hand up to the floor, Tom, when you're playing the same thing. And then we've got to put those two bad boys together. So we're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six. Second beat, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now if I just loop that round nice and slowly, you can start hearing that boom, bat, with all the extra garnish on top. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Now I'll shut up. And now to speed. And then you can use that just to hit a crash and then you're back at the beginning of your little four bar loop. So let's just try that. Bar two. Three. And back to bar four. So when you take all these ideas, you don't have to play it in the set structure that I've put out here. Just take little ideas, maybe just take like bar four, and say you're in a band or you're playing with your friends or you're just having a little practice on your own and you've just learned maybe like this beat. Or just any three grooves. And then chuck in. I'll do now is I'll just play bars one to four back to back a couple of times over. Not too fast, it doesn't need to be too fast. I'm sort of thinking almost this could be like a half time sort of feel to it. So here we go. And bar two. I'll mark that one up. And that one. <laughs> Okay guys, so there it is. Hope you enjoyed that one. Start off slow, just play each bar individually. It doesn't really matter what beats you play really for bars one and three. It's just all about getting that sort of set up with feel going on the hi-hat and then moving it onto the kit and then you know still keeping that little beat going with the bass drum and the snare drum landing on beats two and four. Well the bass drum's on one and three, snare drum's on two and four, but you get what I mean. So yeah, if you did like it, give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So see you next Thursday for another fun free drumming idea. Alright? Cheers. Bye.